like to welcome everybody to the Delaware County Commissioner's meeting. It's Tuesday, July 5th, 2020. The time is 9-12. We have Commissioner Riggin that's joining us over Zoom. Uh, she ended up sick last week and uh, hopefully you're starting to feel a little bit better and Commissioner <coughs> Henry's on vacation this week. So, Everybody can stand for the pledge. pledge. Just, uh, the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. Mr. King? Here. Mr. Henry is absent. Ms. Riggin? Zoom. <laughs> Mr. Brick? Here. Mr. Craycraft is absent. Ms. Patterson is absent. <clears throat> Tanya Dunsmore? Here. Denise Smith? Here. First order of business, we have uh, two public hearings. Uh, the first one I'll start off the petition for vac vacation of streets and alleyways platted in the Pleasant Hill town and uh, offerings uh, addition in Oakville, Monroe Township, Delaware County. Do we have anybody here to speak for or against? This voting vote. Good morning, Commissioners. Rich Lee. 7704 Londonary Court. I'm actually here representing uh, Orville Limbo, uh, property owner of 12720 South Blue Day Drive. Uh, what you have before you are some maps that represent the plots of land. There are approximately six, six plots of land located at this address. Um, nearly 100 years ago, these this property was platted out with a, a couple neighborhoods. Um, you'll see in there over the years, that had streets and alleys that were flat within there in that property. None of the development has taken place over this period of time. Um, for approximately 45 years, the Weishart family had owned this property. And over that period of time, uh, excuse me, approximately 100 years ago, the farm was on that property. Blue Jay Drive dead ends into the driveway going back to the property. This is all shaped property you'll see on your map set. Surrounded by cornfields and then to the, what would be to the north, if uh, there are a couple residences that uh, as well. Today we're asking you to vacate the alleys and streetways there. Uh, that this property was sold approximately three years ago, I'm sorry, four years ago now, um, through auction. Mr. Lindo bought it at that time. He is wishing to uh, sell this property. There's a, a family um, here that uh, has interest in that property. What we found out is it's impossible to get lending on that property without combining each of the properties into one. Uh, just because of the, the streets and alleyways that we're involved in. So we're here today to ask you to vacate those um, in a timely manner. Um, we are asking that you waive the rules to the second reading as it's, uh, it's really putting a burden financially uh, with the, the lending rates that are involved. They keep increasing and increasing at this time. Uh, potential buyers have incurred thousands of dollars in extra lending fees and interest. So uh, in, in order to uh, expedite the matter, avoid further lending fees or rate hikes, uh, we appreciate the consideration and waiting for the rules and adopting the ordinance that uh, is in front of you. Do we have anybody else here to speak for or against? For. State your name and your address. Stacey Willis, people of South Nickel Batman. We're the ones trying to buy the house. 
and we'd appreciate it if we could get it moving so we don't have to pay more. <laughs> Thanks. Anyone else? Mr. Lee, do you have copies of the certified mail green cards returned back? Because they need to be with the auditor as part of the official record. I had the green cards been returned. I don't have the return green card. All I have is the receipt going out. I don't have the return. Okay. It was was the return coming back to you or? It was supposed to come back to me, and I checked yesterday for this weekend's mail. I haven't received it yet. Okay. All right. Yeah, if I go ahead and just do the second one also in the same public hearing. Well, let's close this public hearing first, yeah. and then. I'll make a motion to close the first public hearing. Second. I have a motion and a second. Can you call the roll, Tanya Blues? Mr. King? Yes. Ms. Reagan? Yes. Now we'll move to the second public hearing transfer of deeds to local tax exempt entities. This is a, uh, there were, um, I think three different organizations that were had requested um, properties for the deed sale, East Central Indiana Regional Planning District, Muncie Mission, and the uh, Muncie Arts had requested, and they were all attached to the previous resolution, the addresses, and the legal descriptions. I believe that there's a gentleman here from Muncie Mission, somebody here from the Arts, I think. Uh, I don't see Mr. Walters here, but, um, Mr. Walford, he's yelling today. Oh, that's right. He's okay. I uh, didn't talk about that one. So, anybody here to speak for or against? <clears throat> State your name and your address. Frank Baldwin, 1725 South Liberty Street, Muncie. And I am speaking uh, regarding this property at 1431 South Franklin Street. This is a vacant lot on the corner of Franklin and 8th Street, and one property uh, over from 318 West 8th Street, which is the Muncie Hub. The Muncie Hub is an org, uh, uh, is owned, the property is owned by the Muncie Mission, but works in collaboration with other organizations. Currently, a better way worked out of this property, managing the rapid rehousing grant. Uh, the YWCA worked out of this property, man managing the coordinated entry list for the state of Indiana and uh, 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 in accordance with HUD regulations. And this is a place where homeless individuals can come in, receive immediate support services but also the entry point for long-term housing, whether that's permanent supportive housing or rapid rehousing, uh, and also uh, from this coordinated entry list, the recommendations go to the Muncie Housing Authority. Um, Meridian Health Services also works out of this property, and we are in the process, uh, funding has been received for this property to become a 24 uh, seven crisis center that will be managed by I, IE Ball Health. So there's a lot that is happening in this very tiny space. Um, and we are looking for uh, future expansion and uh, are requesting this lot for long-term planning to increase the services uh, for our homeless community and providing that immediate supportive services through laundry, shower, food, uh, uh, clothing, but then also long-term housing support. So um, your uh, consideration for the transfer of this property would be appreciative and helpful for our community. Thank you. Anyone else? Go ahead. Sure. <laughs> We've got some handouts, Commissioner Riggin. We'll make sure you get a copy, okay? Thank you. 
Um, hi, everyone. Thank you so much. My name is Erin Williams. I'm the Executive Director for Monthly Arts and Culture Council. Um, we have recently acquired property at 600 West Jackson Street, and we request um, the ability to acquire the property at 610 West Jackson, which is immediately adjacent. Right now, it is a uh, abandoned building and is scheduled for demolition. And so, what we would like to do is use this property as an adjacent garden for um, arts and education and cultural pursuits for the neighborhood. Um, we are already actively fundraising for the building um, at six at 600. It's the church space. We just put a new roof on the church this last week. It's kind of in process. So that'll be um, undergoing renovation throughout the year um, with the capital campaign um, to sort of running this, this summer fall season. Um, and then the adjacent property 610, which is the one on the roster for the county, uh, we hope to have that at least at the very minimum it would be um, cordoned off green space that we could use for outdoor events and um, what we would like to do maybe not this year but in the future as we fundraise is to make it into a, um, a garden some sort of a, a either an arts garden that um, has components for uh, artists like dyed plants or fiber based plants that they can use for artwork <coughs> specific to professional artists um, or to also have some areas um, that are specific more towards education and youth education. Um, I included um, an example, which is from Pittsburgh. It's called the Alphabet Reading Garden. Um, it was when I visited this last weekend. It was really fantastic and actually takes up a smaller piece of uh, property than the property would be. So we expect you to do a lot um, in this property, uh, you know, to really energize the neighborhood and make it really really space. Um, Right now, our organization um, is two employees, so ideally in the future this would uh, hopefully uh, allow us to grow uh, into another employee for the organization. Um, and we also expect to see a lot of property value changing um, and uh, street side beautification changes uh, once we have finished the, the renovation. Um, and specifically because of the SR32 update with the bike lane that will be um, happening right along Jackson. And we are also breaking ground next year on the Murphy Arts and Culture Trail, which will be uh, terminating at the Washington Street Bridge, which is just directly north of this property as well. So it'll make it uh, a really great uh, site for tourism and for Thank you. Do we have anybody else? <clears throat> My name is Rebecca Hanna. I live at 515 West Adams. I'm here to speak in favor of Red Sands and Culture, getting a lot at 610. Um, I own property around there. Uh, this property has been neglected for a long time. It's had squatters, not maintained. At times, there's so much trash, it's blowing down the street. So it'll be great to get demolished and have them have that. I'm also the president of Old West End Economic Redevelopment Corporation, and we're also in support of them uh, getting this lot if possible. It would be amazing for the neighborhood. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have anyone else? If not, I'm going to entertain a motion to uh, close the public hearing. Second. Yes, I'll make the motion. Uh, Call the roll, Tommy. Ms. Riggin? Yes. Mr. King? Yes. Move to the table of business. John, you still haven't got anything. Yet no. The... I had some correspondence with the attorney, asked them to update their bond, but I don't have the updated bond yet. Okay. And the new fund, we <clears throat> yeah, haven't got the MOU on it. I have not gotten that either. We'll just leave both of those tables. Here. Move to uh, approval of minutes for uh, June 21st, 2022. So moved. Second. Connie, please follow please. Mr. King. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. <clears throat> Next, we'll move to contracts for agreement, professional tax sales service agreement for <clears throat> the 2022 Delaware County tax sale. Yes, this is an agreement. I've had a chance to look at it with. Um, 
the provider government utilities technology service or guts uh, for the auditor's office to engage in the annual tax sale which i think is october 11th if i'm not mistaken this year this is different than a deed sale this is just for the tax sale certificates the properties that haven't had tax been on i think for one or two years so okay. i'll make a motion to approve Second. Can you call her, please? Ms. Regan? Yes. <coughs> Mr. King? Yes. Next, we have an edit plan for 2022 to 2025. Yes, this is based on the discussion with the commissioners uh, for the edit plan. Um, these are the projects that you've identified to use your local option income tax lowest that's dedicated for um, economic development. There are a total of 19 projects on there, including the bonds that uh, we have in the backup bond for the Bell Aquaculture, as well as the jail product. And there's still a significant amount of money to distribute for various economic development projects based upon estimates of the income that we do every year based on edits as it comes in on a monthly basis. Make a motion to approve. Second. Tony, can you call roll, please? Mr. King? Yes. Ms. Regan? Yes. Next, we have the lease agreement with the uh, Jay County Drug Prevention Coalition. This is a lease agreement that uh, was prepared to house the Jay County uh, Drug Prevention Coalition, which is provide services in Delaware County uh, at the jail as part of the um, operation for the uh, recovery services. This is one step in that process. And if they're going to lease some facility here in the county building, some, some area, whenever they work that with Mr. Foster as to where they're going to end up. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve the lease agreement. Second. Tony, can you call the roll, please? Ms. Reagan? Yes. Mr. King? Yes. Move to ordinance for first reading, ordinance number 2022-019, part of the unimproved Elm Street, unimproved <laughs> Blue Jay Drive, formerly known as Mulberry Street and unimproved alleys in Oakville, Monroe Township, Delaware County, Indiana. I, I move to uh, introduce. Second. Tiny, can you call roll, please? Ms. Regan? Yes. Mr. King? Yes. I move to suspend the rules. Second. Tiny, can you call roll, please? Mr. King? Yes. Ms. Regan? Yes. Commissioners, if, if we could, um, I would like to have the, if you're going to adopt this, that's that's fine, you can adopt it, but the um, proof of the certified mail right. needs to come into the auditor's office. And I'll make that motion. Sir, you want to say? Second. Tony, can you call the roll, please? Ms. Reagan? Yes. Mr. King? Yes. Rich, can you get that to us? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Next, we'll go for our ordinance for second reading, ordinance number 2022-015, ordinance of Delaware County, Indiana, creating a fund for the deposit of funds received by the Delaware County <clears throat> Prosecutor's Office High Tech Crime Unit from Walmart Community Grant. I move we adopt. I'll second it. Mr. Donnie, can you call the roll, please? Mr. King? Yes. Ms. Reagan? Yes. You're good, sir. Uh, next, we'll go to resolution for approval. Resolution number 2022 a resolution of Delaware County, Indiana Board of Commissioners making a final determination to assign tax sale deed to a 
nonprofit entity pursuant to Indiana Code 6 1 1 24 6.7 D1. This is the resolution to transfer the properties that were part of the public hearing earlier in the meeting. I, I move with the second. Tony, can you call the roll, please? Ms. Riggan? Yes. Mr. King? Yes. Okay, what will happen is my office will prepare the deeds to transfer them from Delaware County to, they'll be quick claim deeds preparing to transfer from Delaware County, which they're in the name of, uh, to the entities so they can have them. And we'll record them and then send them to the entities. Okay. Next we'll move to department heads and elected officials. Do we have anybody that would like to speak? Good morning, Tony Skinner, Delaware County Sheriff. Um, I just want to give a shout out to the commissioners um, for uh, the purchase of seven new vehicles for the sheriff's office um, in conjunction with the Delaware County Re uh, Redevelopment Commission. Uh, so thank you guys. I know Shannon's not here, but he'll watch. Thank you, Sherry, and thank you, James, for that. Um, also, I'll let Mr. Work know that the, uh, the equipment has been ordered, but I'm afraid on in the jail that we've worked on it. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Anyone else? Move to uh, payment of claims in the amount of fifty-one million one hundred eighty thousand three hundred forty-three dollars and nineteen cents. I make a motion to approve. Second. Tony, can you call the roll, please? Mr. King. Yes. Ms. Reagan, <clears throat> excuse yeah. me, Ms. Reagan. Yes. Next, we'll go to the payment of art claims in the amount of $36,662.75. Move to. Second. Tony, can you call the roll, please? Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. King. Yes. Next, we'll move to uh, public. <coughs> uh, Mr. Paul Whitehair. <coughs> State your name and address, please. My name is Paul Whitehair. Address is 7200 North, County Road 8 RD in Albany. Um, I was formerly retired and I've now come back to work with a new company coming to Muncie. Uh, they're opening a new branch called KQL Performance Mortgage. It's at East Jackson and Country Club Road. Former resident of McCallum, young man, member of our family, John Heath, one of the owners. The only other notable person from McCallum, I think, is probably John Burrow. No, there's so, a lot of other notable people that may. But, <laughs> which is much more know that We are local people. It's a local company. We have um, our grand opening is next Tuesday. Um, we are out in the former Northwest Bank and we have a total amount of three to six that we food trucks, prizes, what have you. So mortgages are very important. The most, the biggest, biggest entity that any person deals with. So we need to know who the people are. And I just want to stress the fact that we are local people who work with you. I brought with me today, um, Zach White is the manager, and my son David White is working there also. So if you have any, any needs on mortgages, get with us. We brought, we brought some little tokens for you, all of you. Has the address on there and the time is next Tuesday. So we would welcome you to come out and meet the rest of the team. You want to go from there. Um, John, one that John has moved here in Muncie and that's why he's back. He started in Greenville in 2003, in Richmond, and now Muncie. So, if you know the family, if you know the family, we'd love to work with you. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks. A motion to uh, recess. Second. 
Mr. King. Yes. Ms. Riggin. Yes. We're going to recess. Here you go.